Hi friends, I could finally finish building the setup for my do-it-yourself photon propulsion experiment. If you want to get more information what this is all about, find the link below the video and go to DesignSpark. There is an article where I explain all the details and theory of this experiment. So, let's see the setup. There is a wooden base plate with a ceiling mat on top. Together with the acrylic cylinder we have a nice little vacuum chamber. Inside the cylinder I have mounted four ultra high power COB LEDs. Each has about 70,000 lumens so all together we get 68,000 lumen. The light is directly shining on little mirrors which are mounted on an axis so the mirrors can revolve like the paddles of a water mill. The axis has needles on its top and bottom which are resting in dual bearings so there is nearly no friction. To reduce the friction from the air inside we need to apply a high vacuum. The gauge on top gives me just an indication of where about the vacuum is. There is a much more precise digital instrument on the rotary vein pump. The LEDs get their electric current through 4mm jacks mounted sealed on this base plate and the wires go to 450 watt power supplies which produce the constant current for the LEDs. So altogether we get about uh, 600 watts electric power. Hi, here we are again. When I tested the lights yesterday I was shocked by the brightness of 68,000 lumen. I needed some minutes to get rid of the after vision of the CO beam panels which had burned into my retina. This is also a reason for a big problem we have with the video of the final experiment. When I switch on the light, it will look like this. Not good at all. So I've bought welders goggles and I will use a light filter in front of the camera. Hopefully you will be able to see at least some of the things before and after I switch the lights on for a second. It will be no longer but a second because uh, once I've got the vacuum in there there will be no cooling air at all. So let's see what happened today. When I started pumping air out, I realized I could only get down to about 50 millibar. So I would need to grease the seal with silicone paste to get things sealed better. After doing so, I have started the pump again and now it will take another 10 hours uh, to get down to the high vacuum. So see you again tomorrow. Hi, as you may see, I'm wearing the Design Spark t shirt, so today is the day. The vacuum is down to about 2 micro bar, which is very close to high vacuum, and I think we should see what happens if I switch on the light. Three, two, one, fire! I can't believe this, Billy, you need to see this, I come over, it really, it really works, holy sh**, I need to do this again, uh, 